Picture this, you've just won a lotto, you're loaded, you've bought the big house, but of course now you need a sexy car to fill the garage. Well here at Drive, we're happy to help. Meet four of the fastest, most desirable cars in the world, starting with a true classic, the Porsche 911. Straight on to its understated rival, a BMW M3, which now comes with V8 power. Onto something a tad more overt with the Lamborghini Gallardo, a true classic supercar shape. And something of a young upstart also got the looks on its side, the all new Audi R8. But looks aren't everything. Which car would you put in your million dollar garage? Let's hit the road to find out. Time to start off with something fairly familiar, the Porsche 911. Now it's a true classic shape. On paper though, the 911 doesn't look that flash. It's only got 261 kilowatts. It's only got a 3.8 litre engine and it's only got six cylinders. But I'll tell you what, you'd never know it. And listen to that. How good's that sound? It's not classic anything other than classic Porsche. That boxer engine sitting just back there. And it's the start of a car with heaps of personality. It's also a car that can really reward the driver if you get it right. You've got to drive a 911 in a particular way because all the weight is way back there. This is the only car on the market with a rear engine. A lot of cars have got the engine behind you but they're mid-engine. This one hangs way out over the back axle. But if it's understated excitement you're after, we'll look no further than the BMW M3. This car is basically a 3 Series Beamer but on some serious steroids so you get all the benefits of a 3 Series. A pretty spacious cabin, understated styling, and of course some room in the back. Not to mention a pretty user-friendly layout. But there's a few little clues that this one's a little bit special. Things like a bulge on the bonnet, four exhausts hanging out the back, and some nice wheels and tyres. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. A thumping V8 engine. Four litres, 309 kilowatts and it revs to over 8,000 RPM. That makes this M3 the quickest BMW on the menu. That V8 engine also loves a rev. It goes to well above 8,000. And while it's sort of all right lower down, it's not till about six, seven, even 8,000 that it really gets screaming. Sounds lovely. Now here's something I've been looking forward to. Lamborghini Gallardo. It's sort of like a race car with number plates. You've sort of got all engine out the back there, a little cabin in the middle and a nice sleek nose on it. Should be interesting. That also means it's not the most spacious or comfortable car in the world. But listen to that sound. My lord. Now, I don't need a stopwatch to know that this is by far the quickest car we've got here. It's 368 kilowatts, a 5 litre V10 engine, and it drives all four wheels. One thing you quickly learn with the Gallardo though, is that this is not the car for the faint hearted. It looks like a race car and it drives a bit like a race car too. You sort of got to grab it by the scruff of the neck, let it know who's boss, because otherwise it's going to take over. Everything takes a decisive move. The brake pedal is firm. You've got to thrash it to make it work. Plus, it's a $400,000 car, and still, you miss out on a lot of the goodies you may expect. Things like cruise control, it's just not here. Some of the attention to detail of the others, well, again, it's missing. You sort of get the impression that Lamborghini's just said, engine, styling, handling, bang. They got that bit right. The Audi R8 shares a few of its genes with the Lamborghini Gallardo. That's because the two of them basically started as the same thing. Audi wanted a supercar, started with the Lamborghini underpinnings and went from there. Okay, a lot's changed. In fact, the two are very different cars now. Underpinnings, the styling obviously, and of course what's out back. See, this Audi's got a 4.2 litre V8 engine. 309 kilowatts of power, and boy, does it love a rev. And the best bit with the Audi V8 is the sound. From the outside, there's a hint of 1970s muscle car. It's this really deep, bellowy V8 burble. Sounds fantastic. 
but from the inside it's all high tech. Top speed, a thoroughly illegal 301 kilometres an hour. That makes this the fastest, most exclusive, most desirable Audi ever. You'll already have to wait till 2009. Then again, not everyone's going to want an R8 because it's also one of the most expensive Audis ever. This one, I mean, is close to $300,000, about $275 grand. But for that, you get absolutely everything. An awesome interior, plenty of equipment, and lots of the sort of equipment that you'd be paying extra for in the other models. Well, what an awesome way to spend a day. But now it's time for the critical question. What's the best way to spread your newfound loot? Well, I'm going to start with the fastest, arguably the sexiest, and certainly the most expensive car here, the Lamborghini Gallardo. Now therein lies a bit of the problem. It's so expensive and it's so fast that really you need your own racetrack to, to really enjoy it. And I've only just won Lotto, so I can't afford that yet. I don't know if I can live with it day to day, so it's on to the next one, which is the Porsche 911. What a wonderful car. It's so easy to live with day to day. It's fast, maybe not as fast as everything else here, but fast enough. It's comfortable, it's got a practical cabin, and it's also got more character than just about any other car I know. If someone said, you can only have one car, that I reckon would have to be pretty close to the mark. But don't forget, I've won Lotto, so I could probably afford more than that. Which brings me to the BMW M3. Now, I never thought I'd say this. It's $160,000, that is a performance bargain. It's quicker than the Porsche. It's so easy to live with day to day and it just slinks into the traffic. You don't stand out. It's unreal. It really is an awesome car. Still, I've got this one to contend with, the Audi R8. Now, I've come up with a bit of a solution here. You see, this car, I think, is just about the sexiest thing here. It's like a work of art. Audi seemed to realise early on that to even be on the grid with these mega million dollar buyers, you need something that stands out. And stand out, it does. And here's something I love. The engine is like a work of art. It's on display. It's like a museum piece. There's only one problem with the R8. I just don't know what it is, but I couldn't see myself living with it all day, every day. So I've come up with the perfect solution. The BMW M3 is going to be my weekday car, the everyday car, the one that's easy to live with. The Audi R8, the weekend toy. Perfect. There's only one problem with the whole scenario. I haven't won Lotto yet. <laughs> 